It was Jules Stein and Leo Robin who wrote, Men grow cold as girls grow old, and we all lose our charms in the end. But square cut or pear shape, these rocks don't lose their shape. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Now let me tell you about my best friend. These are what I like to call masking products. They're an essential tool for the style of art I create and has saved my life over a countless times in the field. They're cheap, widely available, and even an idiot could do these tricks I'm about to teach you. And believe me, I've used kilometers of this stuff. So I know what I'm talking about. And if you don't agree with me, please let me know in the comments. I won't read them anyway. So whenever I paint, I'd like to cover the back of it with this paper one for the most of it and then just regular masking tape for the rest because overspray is a ruthless bastard and it's better to be safe than sorry. Tape over the edges, then use a razor to cut into it and then all the way to the end. It's like gripping a skateboard, but gripping a skateboard is way harder and I suck at gripping skateboards. If you need a specific angle in your artwork, there is a trick to cut this end of it seamlessly. You need a razor blade, an X-Acto knife or a scalpel, and a metal ruler to do this. The blade needs to be fresh. If it's dull, you're gonna have a bad time. Now first, use the tape as a guide. You may need to try this a couple of times, but you'll feel it when it's right. Then put your metal ruler parallel to the tape. This might take some time too. Only use the weight of your arm to cut. The moment you start to put pressure, things get messy. From here it should come off in one go. If it doesn't, just cut it a second time. But do not rip it. We've all had this happen before. You're working on something and you'll need a piece ASAP. And it tears halfway through. You try again and it tears. And even a third time. This is most likely because the tape is dried up. So either cut the whole roll in half for safe razor blade disposal. This will be covered in a future video. Or just toss the roll out. Life is too short to mess around with bad tapes. Whenever you're working with multiple people and tapes are a part of your project, use a courtesy fold, because others will never find the end of it as quickly as you do. And time is kind of crucial in some projects. And don't be fancy about it, just tear and pinch. And once you develop a muscle memory for this, your life will be so much easier for you and your team. This is how I produce my lines in most cases. I cover the whole thing, I draw whatever I want exposed by the paint, I cut all the pieces out and go to town with spray cans or acrylics. But these are some important notes on how I cut. First, align your metal ruler, then place your blade to the side of it. You need pressure sideways, not onto your canvas. And then you got benders and... Um, Anglers. I used to bend before, but now I prefer to angle my blade. I purchased my tapes from a discount store, well, um, because of the price, and it just works perfectly for me. And whenever I get myself new ones, I tend to clear the shelves of it. I might not be the only one that does this. So in some cases, I just have to resort to name brand, which often has a stronger adhesive, and this could be dangerous. It could rip off the previous layer, which I worked so hard on. Luckily, I found an easy trick to deal with this. You rip, and then one, and two, just to weaken the adhesive, and now it's perfect. Mm. 
Up until a couple years ago, I never realized I have objective feeling. But in some way, I don't. Objective philia is a romantic attraction focused on particular inanimate objects. But it was never romantic. Perhaps it was just the imagination of what I could do with such a tool. The feel, the sound of ripping a fat one. Perhaps it was the thought of, oh, this is a tool for grown-ups, and still using it even though I didn't quite know how to use it properly. We've had our on and offs. I've had moments where I didn't need you, and moments I couldn't live without you. You've ruined a lot of my projects by not letting go, or by giving up too fast. But somehow we'd always find our way back together. So even though we have our imperfections, I'll always love you, till the end of time. I just needed to learn how to use you properly. Thank you.